Good morning, or good evening, or good afternoon, whatever time it is when you're watching this. It's morning here. It's three something in the morning. I got my Battleborns all charged up right here. Got my other Battleborn. That's how I got my setup on my boat. I got my another Battleborn in here, running my uh, graphs. And I'm about to go fish the Coosa River Team Trail on Neely Henry with yes. Zeke Thomas. Nani, uh, pardon the carport, got rod socks everywhere. Hey, Zeke, you ready to go fishing Neely Henry for your first time ever? Yes. Me too. We are excited to go. I got my new Tato mount on here. Got my Tato one on my graph. It's really a cool mount. You just uh, drill two holes, screw that on there, and it's all adjustable and really cool mount. And then I got my Tato, Tato seat pedestal mount right there. That's really rigid and strong so I don't have to worry about it breaking my light pole anymore so got I'm gonna run the GoPro all day and Zeke boy and I are gonna go see if we can catch some big bass at Neely Henry what? tell everyone what our goal is here we have two goals here at the Coos River Team Trail that you came up with what gotta are they get, gotta get in the top 15 try to get in the top 15 and beat Willie D <laughs> beat Willie D why you want to beat Willie D Willie D is a nice man. I still want to beat him. He's the Neely Henry Hammer. I still want to beat him. You want to beat him, okay. Zeke, Zeke always makes it a little personal. Sorry, Willie. Zeke and I were so excited to get things rolling for the Coos River Team Trail on Neely Henry. And we decided to run up the river to a little pocket with some grass in it. And we get up there and come around the corner and look in there. And of course, there's already two boats in it. There was a little club tournament that launched just up the lake from there. And I'm not sure if both boats were from that club tournament or if one was from the Coos River Team Trail and one's from the club. But needless to say, I saw real quick that we couldn't go in there and fish. And Zeke was like, come on, Dad, let's just go. And I said, no, buddy, let's just turn around and head back down towards the ramp. And I really had an idea and a plan that I wanted to go try to catch fish around the boat ramp, even early in the morning. And I just wanted to fish free and have fun and roll around and have a good time with my buddy. Yep. So, of course, I missed the first bite, and here you'll see him jump out of the water about 10 seconds later. I got down. Look, there he is. He's tiny. He's tiny. As you could hear, Zeke was not very pleased with me missing the first two bites of the morning on a frog. <laughs> Got him. I saw it. I hit it. Did you? That's a good one. Good starter. Ooh, his mouth is jacked. Oh. Dude, your mouth. One me. We are on the board. One sixty five, baby. One sixty five. Yeah. Not very big at all. He just choked the Livingston, though. Old Zicky boy laying down the smack talk. So I've gotten really hooked on throwing the six cents draw 6.5 inch glide bait and right here you'll see it works even on Dirty Neely Henry. Oh, 
Every day. Did you watch it hit? No. It says 214. That is not true. Yeah, it said 214. He is fat. And here's another bite on the 6.5 inch draw. And I was just trying to be crafty with this thing and just carefully twitch it around the cover. Glider fish on the glider. That's a nice glider. That was fun. Wasn't that neat? We thought we had the beaver. Decent one. Two twenty-five. Two twenty-three. Here is what you guys have all been wanting to see. I know you have. This is Zeke getting on the board. actually pretty cool. Um, I use 24 pound Torah fluorocarbon, it's vicious Torah, and so I've got a lot of confidence in my line strength for flipping, but I flipped it over the floating pier, over the crossbars, and yanked one up and out of there. Unfortunately, like the rest of them, he just wasn't quite big enough. Oh, it already hold him. Almost a two pounder. Is it? Almost, yeah. Two what? One at 92. Flipping main lake water willow grass is always a great thing to do on Neely Henry, and unfortunately, a lot of the places I wanted to run had boats on them. I mean, the river was really crowded, being Memorial Day weekend, but I did find a stretch I could get on and caught a nice one. Why is it please to swim jig fish? Dang it. Now I need a jig fish. He might by a little bit. Nope, 161. Yes. This right here was an awesome bite for the Z-Man. Swim jig! We might go. Uh, no, but 
still really cool. That's my second one I was reading today. Yeah, that was an awesome fight. I threw it. I just saw him flash at it, and it looked huge when he hit it. That is cool. Why do they keep saying big? It's because every time they hit it, they feel big. Yeah, that's strong. Thank you. That was a neat big. bite. Good job. So this right here ended up being the pattern that got us the most quality bites throughout the day. And what it was was flipping the cross size power finesse jig on main lake laydowns and typically on the shallower parts of the trees. And anytime I'm doing that, I'm a happy man. Dang it. Gosh, I thought he was huge. That thing's gonna cold though, baby. Man, he's so skinny. Why him? I'll keep fishing. Gosh, he looks like a four pounder. He did. I'll take him though. Come on, Dad. He's a 227. Biggest one yet. Yep, number three's gone. This one right here was another two and a quarter pounder. And you know, it's not a bad fish, but it's just not enough against a group of really good Neely Henry fishermen. After catching that fish, we went a little while without a bite. So I decided to run up the river and try a little offshore deal. It's the way I caught him last year during the hotter parts of the summer. And so we figured we'd give it a try. I'm really glad we did that because even though they weren't big, Zeke boy got to catch a few more fish. Oh, that one nailed it. Still got it. Good spot. Good job, Zeke boy. You spit up a shad. Ready? Yeah. Not even bleeding. Got another. This is a stripe. Oh, it's not pulling like a stripe. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I realized pretty quick that wasn't going to cut it, so we went back to the wood flipping. Yes! That, that's a game changer. It's a nice one though. That's a good one. Oh yeah. That might be our biggest one today. It's definitely our biggest. It's close to three. Two ninety-three. Number five is gone. I think nine hours of fishing in the heat was making Zeke a little delirious. I have flaps. I have flaps. We finished up the day back by the boat ramp and I made about uh, probably 23 out of 25 perfect skips under this dock in the waves but it still did not get us any fish. I was skipping away back under there thinking, surely there's gotta be a big one under this dock where they get released, but it just wasn't meant to be. All right, guys, we got about 11 and three quarter to 12 pounds. We go weigh them in and see what we did. All right, we had 1241. 1241 is not too bad. Zeke's gonna slide him down the loose. Slide him down the loose, Zeke. Slide him down. You gotta go quick. Mark McCaig wants to slide his down too. There you go, all the way down the tunnel. Slide him down there. Down the tube, back 
to the lake happily. All right, cool.